If you were me and you have done absolutely everything that you've done with your C8 Corvette and you had a 2017 Mustang, what would you do? No, we're not gonna Alice swap the Mustang, but I do have an engine that I'm really excited to unveil to you today that's going inside this puppy. But first, let's hear this coyote one last time. At least one last time in the Mustang. Cold start for the boys. <laughs> I love the smell of tires first thing in the morning. Oh, this traction control kicking on. <laughs> After I tell you the plan with the S550, we'll never have to worry about traction control again. All right, we're here. I did a poll on YouTube and I asked you what build you wanted to see next and you guys picked a Mustang. Cruel joke? Maybe. Do I do what I say I'm going to do? Absolutely. Ever since I bought this 2017 Mustang six months ago, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a huge root style, big blower, taller than the roof of the car. I've had that vision since day one and I tried. I really tried to do it with the Coyote, the five liter. I wanted to get my hands dirty with one of those, but unfortunately, you know, we could have done a lot of fabrication in order to make it work, but at the end of the day, I would have been spending triple to make it work with the Coyote and the time would have been longer versus what I have under this tarp here. A big block Ford. It's a 460 SVO block. It has been bored and stroked to a 598. That's 9.6 liters of just raw badassery. She's got a forged crank, aftermarket pistons, H-beam rods, mechanical rollers. She's got the Kasi P51 heads on her. She's fully built and makes a thousand horsepower, naturally aspirated. We're currently here at HK Motorsports Tuning to hopefully buy an engine that they pulled from a wrecked bracket racing car. showed up to the shop to say farewell. He had it in a 66 Galaxy before, unfortunately. He had an accident, the trans blue leaked oil in the rear tire as he slid out and hit the wall. He was telling me he's 67 years old and he's done with cars. But I don't believe that. <laughs> I think he'll be back. I told you guys I wanted to go supercharger and that's exactly what we're going to do. The crazy thing is right now, blowers are 16 weeks out. So I got really lucky that I was able to cap one of these. Okay, here we have, looks like all the pulleys are in here. Installation instructions, don't need those. Oh, buddy, look at this intake manifold. Oh, wow. So I'm gonna unbox everything and I'm gonna put everything on the engine so you guys can get an idea of what it's gonna look like and why I'm so excited about this. And this is my first time ever doing a blower supercharger on a car. I've always been a turbo girl. You guys know me. I love to constantly challenge myself and push things to their limits. And um, I think we can, we all know what's gonna be in this box. This is the supercharger. I'll, I'll show you guys how big and nasty this is in a minute. <laughs> and I unintentionally did not mean to save the best for last, but the supercharger, best for last. Sweet baby Jesus. Oh my God. I don't even know I'm gonna be able to carry this on my own. Oh. oh my God. <laughs> a lot of problems. So this is gonna be forcing air into that. This is a 1471 blower. This is the biggest blower that they make. Oh, we're so bending some rods. <laughs> Front end's gonna be so heavy, we're not gonna be able to crash in any car. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You guys, it's a new year. We've been quarantined for so long that I expect you to need Manscaped. So with that said, I'd like to thank today's sponsor. Manscaped has you covered with the new performance package. Let's check it out. What's in here? No one wants to be around a Yeti that smells like high mileage diff fluid. Doesn't smell great. So give yourself or a loved one the gift that keeps on giving and make sure you keep yourself groomed and clean. Manscaped is here to do just that with the world's first all-in-one men's grooming kit that has you covered 
from head to toe, literally. <laughs> The Lawnmower 4.0 Waterproof Cordless Trimmer is built with advanced skin safe technology, which helps reduce nicks and cuts on your most sensitive areas. And here's a must have Manscaped's Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray. This is a game changer, according to my guy friends. And new to the collection is the Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. And let me tell you, every man should have one of these. The Weed Whacker has these 360 rotary blades and the same skin safe technology from the trimmer. It helps prevent some painful hangups. In addition to products for your face and body, they now have your mechanic hands covered with their new and improved Shears 2.0 luxury <laughs> six piece stainless steel nail kit. Every guy out there needs to make sure that they add these tools to their toolkit. So with that said, go to manscaped.com and use promo code AMELIA for 20% off your order plus free shipping. If you guys order this kit right now, you will also get anti-chafing boxers and a travel kit. Jesus Christ, dude, this thing's heavy. Do you know what that's going on? <laughs> I do now. Dude, I'm so excited about this. I have another surprise, but let's assemble this first and then I'll show you guys that. <laughs> Sean wants to be involved in this so badly. He like keeps coming over here. He's doing this typical like, yep, <laughs> <Sean>. <laughs> yep. yep. Yeah. Oh, she'll be a good Just one. Making sure, making sure everybody's following their safety standards. Yep, he kicks it. Yeah. Nope, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, all right, cool. He just starts walking back to the office. Yeah. Looking good. <laughs> Do you want to be involved in this assembly process? Yeah. Cool. Everything on this thing is so big. There you go. So imagine this. There's probably gonna be an intercooler about yay thick, but we don't actually have that yet. We're missing a couple pieces, uh, but I wanna get a good visual of what this is gonna look like. So keep in mind, it's probably gonna be a solid like two to three inches of stack height still. But I think now we put 1471 on, but I'm gonna let one of you guys carry that. Whoa, look at that. Oh, that thing is so, <laughs> so sick. Well, this doesn't stick out too far past. So I imagine my eye line will be about that. Now we're gonna be running two 4500 throttle bodies and then the injector hat on top. So let me show you that right now, but we're just gonna use this to put the hat on top of it to give you guys kind of an idea of what it's gonna look like. But keep in mind, we're missing the throttle bodies, we're missing the intercooler, so she's gonna sit a little higher. Now, the cherry on top. When I ordered this, I called them and I said, I want the most inconvenient injector hat you have. One that I can physically not see through. Ladies and gentlemen, this is called the big and ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> okay, this is insane. <laughs> It's gonna be like another like two inches, three inches. Yeah. The intercooler is like four, and then the dual throttle body to the big and ugly is like another two or three. So about six inches. Yeah. And guys, say size doesn't matter. So you're saying five <laughs> to six this inches is a lot. <laughs> this is good news. <laughs> Bro, you guys, this is going into this. <laughs> well. No, we're we're like. Like real talk, we're gonna have to brace everything on this. Yeah. This car's gonna just literally twist in half. Yeah. Like we're gonna have to like go pretty crazy. I think the diff is literally going to shit itself and leave the car. Yeah, probably. Like literally, you'll just step on it and the diff will just fly out. That'll be cool. <laughs> All right, let's put it in. The cool thing is this is actually gonna be really easy to put in there. Yeah, right? Because of it's actually smaller. It's taller, but it's a lot like narrower. Do you, you know what I named the Mustang? What you name the Mustang? Trader. Oh my god. It's better than a Chevy. I was kidding, but I'm not kidding. Oh, I got two former Mustang guys here. Hey, he looked at me for confirmation. You literally, <laughs> like, you, you know, three Ford fanboys that help you with this. What's up? What do you think? Hold on. That's cute. Oh, get out That's of here. That's what you're gonna say? That's hey, cute. Hey. 
the 80s cult, they want their polished shit back. <laughs> that's not the reaction we wanted yeah, out of you. That's not how we were expecting you're supposed to be. The, you're supposed to be the Ford fanboy with me. Get better and get down here, you lazy. Uh, Damn it, I just <laughs> <laughs> This is heavy, this is heavier than me. I lifted a 100 pound tire on the Bronco, no problem. Now I'm expected to lift this.